Okay, this sermon is entitled, Crossless Gospel Accusing Fools. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 117 reads, O oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Now, there are a bunch of stupid fools out there that have nothing better to do with their time, and they try to accuse myself and Bob Wilkin and anyone else associated with the Free Grace Theology you know, camp as preaching a crossless gospel. Now, the reason why they're doing this is because we've been accused of just leaving this out, omitting the, cr the cross or omitting the death, burial, and resurrection out of our presentation. Well, this is absolutely not true. Every time I go over the gospel of somebody, I mention the cross. The contention we have is that what if somebody doesn't get to hear that part, but yet they still believe on Christ? We're saying they're saved. These stupid um, naysayers out there, these stupid false accusers are saying they're not. So, number one, these people are basically declaring the unsaved saved because they believe all the right facts. This would be the case with Catholics. The Catholics believe in the cross, and they're not saved. Calvinists, Arminians, Lordshippers, even some cults believe in the cross. But the reason they're not saved is because they don't believe in the promise that Jesus offers in John 6.47. So let's go ahead and turn there. John 6.47 reads, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Now there are a bunch of stupid dispensationalists out there who claim that you can believe John 3.16 in isolation, or John 6.47, or John... 524 or Acts 1631 or whatever and they claim that you can't be saved by that by those verses alone and I would have to say that these people are not saved these people don't believe the Word of God and if you had to add a bunch of epistemological facts to what it is a person needs to believe then you're calling God a liar in all these verses in the book of John you're just saying these verses are not true and basically you're making God into a deceptive trickster who just tells people, you know, something but means something else, when the Bible is very clear that God cannot lie. Okay, my next point is that you can believe every single fact about Jesus Christ and Christology and the gospel and, and still go to hell if you don't trust in him for eternal life. So my final point is that to all these stupid devils that accuse us of a crossless gospel, you guys believe in a faithless gospel or a promiseless gospel, and this is no different than Lordship Salvation. In Lordship Salvation, they add works. But according to these people, these false accusers, they add knowledge. They add facts. It's a bunch of epistemic legalism. And who knows how long the laundry list is as to what a person has to actually believe in order to be saved. And the truth is, is that if you don't believe the words of Jesus Christ in John 6:47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. If you don't believe that because you think more facts are necessary, you don't believe the gospel, you don't believe the promise of life, and your salvation is in question. So that's all I have. Watch out for these stupid, retarded fools out there that accuse true free grace proponents of preaching a crossless gospel, when in reality, we don't preach a, a crossless gospel. We mention the cross all the time. The fact is, is that somebody may not hear that part or may not understand that completely, but they're still saved if they believe the promise that he that believes on Jesus has everlasting life that can never be lost. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.